Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Ida, and today I'm going to try a DIY homemade deep conditioner. So this is what my hair looks like right now. It is freshly washed and it looks a bit drier than usual because I'm trying this new thing out where I skip the rinse out conditioner step and just go straight into like a protein treatment or a deep conditioner treatment. So I did have two bananas, they were really ripe and I put them in a blender. So I have a neutral bullet. I guess you can use any blender. You can even use a fork too. Um, but it blends up really, really nicely so that you won't have like any big chunks. It might be like harder to wash off. But anyway, so I put it in for like 30 seconds. So, so I just have a bowl right here. I'm gonna put all the ingredients in this bowl. So I did read a lot about how bananas are really, really good for a moisturizing deep conditioner. I have all these great benefits to it. And so I'm like, you know what? Might as well try it out. Plus I ran out of deep conditioner, you guys. And then I have some vegetable glycerin. So I'm gonna put that in. I'll probably put, probably put about three tablespoons. So the banana mixture, it is pretty, it's a lot more watery than I thought it would turn out to be, which is very interesting. And then I'm gonna add in some oils. So this is Jamaican black castor oil. I really like this oil, it's just that I barely ever use it um, strictly on top of my hair because it is very, very thick and it's gonna sit on top of my hair. But for deep conditioner treatments, I honestly don't mind putting it in because I'm gonna wash it off anyways. And then I'm gonna put avocado oil in. You could also put like olive oil, almond oil, whatever oils you really have at home. So now you can either put like a yogurt inside your treatment or you can just put like any conditioner you have. So I think I'm gonna put in this Oyen Handmade Honeydew. Any conditioner that you have at home. So I'll just put in not too much because honestly this stuff is pretty pricey. I guess I shouldn't have blended it this much you guys because I don't like that it's so watery. But I honestly didn't put that much conditioner in you guys. I don't know why I'm smelling it you guys, but it smells good. I think it's that oil and handmade too. It smells like um, burnt sugar or something like that. Burnt brown sugar. Mixing with that banana, mmm. Smells like a nice dessert, you know? Okay, I really hope this works out you guys because I really do want to incorporate like more natural ingredients into my hair regimen. And I, I feel like because I have low porosity hair, a lot of these like homemade DIY ingredients just kind of sit on top of your hair because they're so big in molecular size. So I'm gonna see if this works. But you guys, honestly, next time I do this, if this does work, I'm not going to blend the banana as much just because I feel like it's gonna be easier to apply if it was a bit thicker. Because it could get a bit messy, but that's fine. Maybe this way it'll, it'll absorb into my hair a lot better. But this reminds me of the Cherry Lola treatment when it had the yogurt in and it was kind of messy to apply. I guess I should be using a towel, but I guess I'm just using a shirt that I don't really care to get messy. So applying it is, it feels really nice. I'm not gonna lie, it feels like it's gonna be moisturizing once I wash it off, but we'll see. But you guys, leave any recipes you guys have for any DIYs just so I can can try them out because I definitely think it's nice to kind of switch it up sometimes and and see kind of what works best with your hair because you're really never gonna know unless you like experiment, you know? So yeah, so far it's it's honestly feeling really nice, you guys. I'm I'm really I'm really in shock nice because although this feels moisturizing, it's not the greatest at detangling, so just a FYI, in case you were wondering if this was detangling or not, but that's fine. It's not too, too bad. Like eventually I will be able to detangle my hair, but it's just a bit more time consuming, I guess I would say. All right, so one side done. My hair is feeling pretty, pretty soft, so we'll see how it turns out. I'm actually really excited, you guys. Because if this works, I'm going to definitely incorporate it into my regimen a lot. I always have bananas on hand, you guys, and I always have some oils on hand and some conditioner. And so I am going to sit underneath a hooded dryer for about, I'll say, 45 minutes. Okay, guys, so I am back, and I actually didn't really stay underneath the hooded dryer for too long, literally like 20 minutes, and then I just kind of wrapped a head wrap over top of the conditioning cap or the plastic cap 
to kind of increase like the heat of my scalp to warm up the deep conditioner just because I don't know I felt like after after a while it just didn't feel right you know to sit underneath the hood of dryer with with that banana in there for that long so uh, it's been in my hair for about an hour now maybe a little over an hour so I'm going to just show you guys kind of what it looks like before I wash this out this is what my hair looks like after I take out all the twists and so my hair feels extremely moisturized and just really soft in general so I am going to wash this out and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like and what it feels like most importantly okay guys so I did wash out the deep conditioner and then I just kind of went ahead and just did like a quick wash and go yeah so you guys what do you guys think about my results I'm going to show you guys what my hair looks like once it dries my hair feels really really soft and then Another quick thing that I also noticed is that when I was washing out my hair, it kind of felt like, not like a silicone, like you know how like, you have that coated feeling on your hair that silicones give you? It kind of felt like that, but not as the waxy coated feeling, if you know what I mean. It's kind of like that nice thin layer of something coating your hair, but not as heavy as a silicone. So it was really nice feeling. And um, yeah, so I'm really, really happy that it worked out. I'm definitely gonna tweak it a bit just to kind of make it really, really good so that I can definitely compare it to one of my favorite deep conditioners. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.